Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I will be showing you on how to get any color Gorka joggers. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification as well. Let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. So for this clothing glitch, I will be showing you on how to get any color Gorka joggers. But this will delete every single outfit except one. So you will be only able to save one outfit. Now you will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store. And once you're there, you will need to make your way over to the fun counter. Go over to the saved outfits. And select the outfit you do want to save. And delete every single one of them. Now once you've done that. All you want to do is back out from the outfit section, open up your pause menu, go over to the online section, and all you want to do is go over to swap character. Now once you do choose swap character, accept the alert. Now you will be loading into a room like this. You will be needing a female character for the second slot. Now if you do not own a female character, just go over to the second slot and edit character and make sure you put it as a female. Now if you do have a female character, all you want to do is select the female character like I did. Then it will be loading you into a GTA Online session. Now once you do load into the GTA Online session, all you want to do is make your way over to the closest clothing store once again. Go over to the accessories. And make sure you remove any sort of accessories on the female character. So make sure you check the earrings and remove them. So remove any accessories that you have on the female character. Now back out once. You will need to go over to the gloves section. And you will need to purchase the black woolen gloves, which are these. Now make your way over to the shoe section. You will need to go over to the high heel boots. And once you're on high heel boots, you will need to purchase the deluxe midnight combat, which are these right here. Head over to the pants section. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the sports pants and buy the first one. They are called the Spotted Muscle Pants, which are these. Now head over to the top section. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the Busters section. And purchase the Till Lace Buster, which is this blue one right here. Now back out once, continue to stay at the top section. Go over to the Sports Jackets. And purchase the Geometric Bigness Puffer. Which is this one right here. Now make your way over to the hat section. Now this part is optional. If you do not want a hat, you don't have to put a hat on. So make sure the hat you do want to put on, it is underneath the section called caps and it must be on forward. So once you're on caps and it is on forward, you can purchase any of the hats underneath the caps slash forward section. Now. Once you do select the hat you do want, make your way over to the front counter and you will need to save this as an outfit on slot 2. Make sure it is saved as an outfit on slot 2. Now back out from the outfit section, open up interaction menu and choose the option to kill yourself. Now you will be loading outside of the clothing store. Now open up your pause menu, go over to online and choose creator then accept the alert you will be loading into a little menu like this now you will need to go over to create a race then afterwards you will need to create a land race once you've done that you will be loading into another menu like this go over to race details go over to title and put anything on the title Go over to description and once again put anything on the description once again. Go over to photo and take a random photo. Now back out once. Go over to the maximum players and make sure you put the maximum players on three. 
Once you've done that, you will need to go over to the route type and make sure you put it on from point to point. Once you've done that, you will need to scroll down, go over to the vehicles options, and make sure you put it on super so we can finish the race faster. Now select the supercar you want, then back out once, open up your pause menu, go over to the map, and go over to the LSIA and warp over there. Now once you do spawn in like this, go over to the placement and place a trigger right here or wherever, it doesn't matter. Now back out once, go over to lobby camera and select a random lobby camera picture. Go over to the checkpoints. And as you can see, once you do place the checkpoints, on the bottom right, you should see the race length to increase. Make sure you put the race length is above one. Once the race length is above one, all you want to do is back out once. Then you will need to go over to test the race. Now, once you do test the race, you will be loading into the race like this. Now, this part's very simple. All you want to do is collect every single checkpoint you place down and finish the race. Now, once you do finish the race, an alert should pop up on your screen like this. Now, once it does pop up, all you want to do is accept the alert. Now, once you do accept the alert, open up your pause menu, go over to online, and go over to choose character. Accept the alert once again. You will be loading into a little room like this. Now, once you do load in, move over to the second slot like I did. And make sure you delete the second slot, which is the female character. Now, once you do delete it, all you want to do is move over to the left slot, which is slot one. Now, all you want to do is return to GTA 5. Now, you'll be loading back into story mode. Once you do load into story mode, all you want to do is open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to play GTA online and load into a invite only session only because that loads into a regular online session very quickly. Now, once you do load into the online session, make your way over to the closest clothing store. Once again, go over to the saved outfits and make sure you save the outfit you're wearing on slot 10. Now back out once, go over to the Gorka suits. Now, once you're on Gorka suits, select any Gorka suit you do want. So once you do select the Gorka suit you want, we will be making those Gorka suits into joggers. So select the Gorka suit you do want to turn into joggers. Now, once you do select the one you want, back out from the outfit section, open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to Rockstar Created, go over to the verses, then you will need to start up the job called Crooked Cop. Now, once you do start up the job called Crooked Cop, accept the alert. Now, you will be loading into the second job menu like this. Now, go over to the clothing and make sure you put it on player owned. Then invite at least one person to help you out. Now, once they do join, launch the mission. Then you will be loading into the second job menu like this. Go over to the player owned outfits and click one to the right and make sure you ready up and the person that is helping you ready up as well. Once you do ready up, you will be loading into the mission with your Groka joggers like this. Now, all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, go over to style, go over to accessories, go over to gear, and make sure you equip a earpiece on. It doesn't matter which earpiece it is. Now, steal any of these vehicles and make your way over to the closest clothing store once again. And once you're there, all you want to do is get out of the vehicle 
and stand in front of the clothing store and make sure your earpiece is on. If it is not on, just equip it on. And if it is on, just pull up your phone in front of the clothing store, go over to the jobs list, and you must quit the jobs to the jobs list like I did. Now, you will be spawning into the last session you were in like this, and you should see the Groka joggers appear on your saved character like this. But yeah guys, make sure you save this as an outfit and the Groka Jokers are all yours and they do stick. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on the bell notification as well. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter or Instagram, and if you haven't joined my Discords, all links down below in the video description. I also have a, a special announcement coming soon. Maybe within 3 or 4 days, I will drop the special announcement. But yeah guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.